Hi, welcome back to our channel. If you're new to our channel, I'm Keith and this is Sailing Bluefin. And today I'm going to talk about the uh, Rainman water maker and how we use it. Now what we have here is a, it's a 240 volt uh, AC wa uh, Rainman water maker and it's got the high capacity um, membranes. So this is the portable model, you can actually get these built in. So with the portable model what we do first is we pop this into the water. This is the uptake hose, so that just needs to be into the water so it can bring in some fresh water. We undo these. So every time we use this, we'll put these hoses back in place. So what we have here is this thick black hose is the high pressure hose. So this is the hose that goes from the main pump unit, and we put that in there like nice and securely, and that goes into the membrane. So the water gets pumped through this hose, so that takes in the seawater. It goes in through this unit and the high pressure goes out through this hose into the membranes. And the green hose is what's called the brine hose. So that's the, um, the ultra salty water after it's made water out of the membranes, goes out through this hose. So we just pop that through one of these holes here, because um, that's just basically waste water. It's, but it's just salty water. And this hose here, the white hose, is what they call the product hose. So, what we're going to do is first of all turn on the unit. So, we've got an on, on off button here. So, first thing is to make sure that we have brine water coming out. Good. And it's a quite a, it's quite a simple unit. So, so there's not a whole lot of automatic stuff on it. You basically turn it on, and then you turn on the pressure. So you turn this gradually, and you look at this gauge. You just raise that pressure gradually. You can get water testing units, or you can just do the do it the old-fashioned way. Still a tiny bit salty, so that's good now. And what we do first is fill a bucket full of water, because you need 10 liters of water to rinse the uh, water maker after you've used it. So we'll fill this bucket full of fresh water and then we'll start putting the water into the water tank.
Okay, so now I have the rinse water all uh, organized. I'll just pop this straight into the tank. So this, this unit that we've got here will give us about 140 to 150 litres per hour, which is quite a lot of water. So if we run this for a couple of hours, it will almost fill one of our big tanks. So that's pretty good. So now we just gotta wait for it to fill the tank. So now we've run the water maker for about an hour and we've got about 150 litres of water into the tank, which is great. So now we're gonna shut it down. So the way that you shut it down is kind of a reverse to what we did with uh, starting it up. We gradually close this valve. So you can see that gauge going down. Turn this off. And we take the uptake, this is the uptake hose that goes into the salt water. We now put that into the fresh water. Oh, I'll bring it over here. Near the unit, make it easier. And we basically rinse it. Now we don't need to open up the uh, valve because this just rinses the salt water side. So we basically use all of this water. Um, so the 10 litres of water goes through and that rinses out the uh, salt water side of the membrane with fresh water. You have to use water from the water maker or rain water. Some, something that doesn't have chlorine or any kind of chemicals in it. Because if you use chlorinated water, you'll wreck the membrane. So really, really important point. And you have to make sure you don't run it dry because the membranes don't like to be run dry either. So that's, so that's basically it. Quite a simple unit to use. So what are the good things and the bad things about these units. So first of all, the good things. They're simple, really simple. I mean, this is, it's not built in. It basically sits inside the locker here. It plugs together. It takes me maybe three or four minutes to set it up. Uh, it is easy to start up. You basically plug it together, turn it on, and open up the valve, taste the water once it tastes right, you, you're making fresh water and that's it. And shutting it down equally as easy. So that's definitely a great thing about it. It's pretty compact. You know, you can fit it into a reasonably small small space. It's simple, you know, it's in, a, it's, in its own case. It, um, you don't have bits sort of sitting around everywhere. Uh, all the hoses are labeled, which is fantastic. Probably the, the downsides of these machines would be that uh, if you don't have a decent inverter, it'd be hard to run this because it does use a fair amount of power. And we run ours using a lot of solar power and we've got a decent size inverter. So not a problem for us. And it's actually more efficient to use a bigger 240 volt one than to use a 12 volt one that you've got to run for hours and hours and hours. So I mentioned that we use our inverter to run this machine and we run it when we're out at sea or at anchorage uh, without having shore power. Um, we use the inverter and of course we rely a lot on our solar to uh, provide the power that we need for this. So I've actually um, done a video about the inverter, uh, the installation of it, and it's a Victron inverter, it's a 3kVA uh, inverter, and we also did one about the solar, so if you have a look at those two videos, it gives you an idea about how you can power one of these and do it without having to have shore power, or run a generator, a lot of people run generators to run these things, and much, much better to be able to run it without having some machine puttering away and using up petrol.
probably another disadvantage of it would be for some people is these are very heavy so this unit here weighs i think about 30 something kilos it's heavy so um, for a lot of people it would be very very difficult to lift this that one's about 20 kilos or something so even that's quite heavy uh, the other disadvantage is that if you want to semi install these and you can there, there are little bracket points in them that you can install them it's surprisingly difficult to find a place on a boat to put these things because you, you look at this and think oh yeah I could fit that in somewhere and then you start looking for places in the bilge and you know in some of the, the lockers and it, it can be quite difficult to find a place to fit this and also the length of the, uh, the membrane unit uh, although you could get the smaller membranes um, and make it easier to fit but then you make less water so uh, look apart from that I don't think there's any real downsides to it these are great and I'll tell you the other thing about these is that uh, the company that makes them here in Australia is um, really really good with supporting their product uh, if you have a problem with something they're really really quick to send things out often they don't charge you for it we, we've heard stories of people actually having units out of warranty and something breaking and they've just sent them sort of replacement parts to to fix things so that they're very good uh, we had a, um, a a pressure gauge a flow gauge that's uh, that was broken and the guys at the rain man said they'll send us a new one um, because it'd been sitting around and it, it got damaged so great support really great people and the product seems to be bulletproof I mean it's really difficult to find a bad a bad thing that anyone has to say about these things they're very very solid units so good for us really important we want to rely on this we need our fresh water and we don't want to have to go into a marina and get water um, so for a water maker to break down and some of the really big expensive uh, complicated units you know you hear about them breaking down and people having to pay thousands of dollars to get them fixed so that's a big upside for these so I've just packed everything away and as you can see I've curled up the hoses um, so every time I use it I make sure I curl these up nicely so they fit in and close this up so this fits away nicely and the main hose here curls up into the pocket um, this they could have made this a bit bigger to fit the hose in but it's pretty and this is the hard part putting it away kilos I think 30 something kilos that's my weightlifting for the day <laughs> and then this one so if you need to lift weights on a boat then you can do it do it with this and I should mention that uh, where we've been making this water is just the most beautiful spot. This is Double Island Point, uh, which is just north, uh, sorry, just south of Rainbow Beach. Um, and that in turn is just south of Fraser Island. And we're in this amazing lagoon that's been formed with a sandbank, and this didn't used to be here. So it's just the most magic place with turtles and stingrays and lots of fish and the most beautiful beach and colored sands. So fantastic place if you ever want to get to this part of the world but if you have any questions about using it or uh, what we think about any particular um, aspect of it or anything that you'd like to know about it definitely just shoot us a comment um, and we'd love to answer your questions so um, look thank you very much for watching this video uh, we really appreciate your support and um, we'd love to hear about anything else you want it, you'd like to know about and give us a thumbs up on the video we really appreciate that and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to our channel and yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed it and let me know if we can help you with anything else thank you bye